You came up out of the trench. You had cover. You had good cover. Don't lose your cover. Okay. Ти, тебе ранило, блядь, привяжи руку, ногу, я хер його знаю. Я вже в шоні, ну в шапці. Звоню Шишко, запитай його, чи він мертвий, чи його можна лікувати, блядь. Казали, що він вже більше все. Ну я раді. Де командирувати, мужчина? Дальше. В ту сторону. Плюс! Їбать. Доповідай. В ту сторону, звідки хераща, там і працівник. Minus, minus, she didn't get here. Alright, yeah, so right now they just air assaulted in. The uh, third platoon we're following right now is clearing the area to the north uh, to allow their ground convoy to come in. Я не знаю.
Today we uh, facilitated a uh, air infill for a relief force. Um, the uh, operation was to uh, kind of beef up security around a uh, defensive system that was already in place with a uh, ground assault convoy to also help out the uh, air assault elements once they got on the ground. Today we conducted an air infill uh, utilizing four MI-8 HIPS. Uh, what happened was we uh, landed these uh, aircraft, uh, dismounted a, uh, about a platoon size of dismounted infantry to uh, relieve a uh, sort of beleaguered force inside a trench line. At that time, uh, another friendly follow-on force, they used, uh, utilized a ground assault convoy consisting of uh, BTR-80s and uh, ZSU-23-2s. They uh, also came up and shored up friendly positions. They pushed out into a trench line approximately 100 meters from the uh, LZ and then took up security positions facing outward there. I think it's important because it kind of builds confidence in the uh, Ukrainian Army's, uh, their ability to utilize combined arms. Um, so you had, you know, we're working with rotary wing aircraft, armored personnel carriers, dismounted infantry, and uh, for the commander on the ground to really, you know, start to flesh it out how that's supposed to go and get everyone there to the fight, I think that's very important. I think, it very, I, think, I think it went very well. Uh, they demonstrated an ability to work in all conditions, especially the snow that we had today. That's, uh, that's definitely something that uh, you know, they, they, they should definitely be proud of. Not a lot of armies in the world can work in uh, inclement weather such as that, so that's definitely one, one good thing that happened. It's been a, it's been a great experience. Um, to get out and travel, especially to Eastern Europe, someplace I've always loved, has always been uh, a dream of mine. So to come here and actually get paid to do it is very nice. Um, the Ukrainians are, uh, the Ukrainian army is, is an amazing, amazing army to work with. There's, so, there's a lot of learning that we both do from each side. Some days it feels like they teach us more than we teach them. What I really appreciate is definitely the hospitality they've shown us here, which has been bar none. Uh, we've definitely learned uh, a lot of their language. We've learned uh, a lot of their tactics, techniques, and procedures, and their standard operating procedures. Um, that's been good. We've also learned a lot about weapon systems that we would never see in, uh, in our uh, continental U.S. bases, such as uh, AGS-17s, um, some of the heavier machinery like BMPs, BTRs, uh, T-90s, or T T-70s. Uh, we started off by doing uh, sticks. Uh, we did a platoon, squad, company sticks. Um, and then we went into uh, medical training, such as first aid, CLS. We uh, went, to, went through call, call for fires, uh, cold load, hot load procedures for the aircraft. Um, there's been a lot of things that we've, we've gone through. Obviously, I've trained, uh, I've trained my own soldiers, and we had a limited training, um, limited training uh, of the Afghan National Army. It's uh, it's definitely a different different experience. Uh, not so much not only because of the uh, the terrain and the geopolitical climate, but also because 
Um, it's just difference in, uh, in uh, equipment and what we can bring to the fight. Um, the Ukrainian army is able to put up a lot of heavy machinery and uh, they're able to uh, match us on a lot of stuff, uh, definitely their use of aircraft and artillery. So it's a, it's a different experience altogether. We go into just the, we teach them the standard army AAR process, which is definitely, uh, definitely uh, extremely effective at what we do. Um, we go into uh, actions are, or what happened, what the plan was, then we, uh, we go through each phase of the operation. Um, all the way to the end, then we look at what we can do better, what we did right, and try to capitalize on those. Yes, definitely. It's been uh, it's definitely been an amazing experience. Uh, something I'll always be able to tell uh, my uh, my uh, family and friends for years to come. Uh, the cooperation is it's great. There is a bit of a language barrier, um, but it, the cooperation is amazing. Uh, we work a lot with the uh, Ukrainian Army, the Marine Corps, and some with their Navy. And uh, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely um, a great experience. Uh, some of the Ukrainians have told us that you know we may have been born American, but we were uh, we we're definitely Ukrainian heart, which is a great compliment. So uh, infantrymen the world over are the same. You know we all we all like to do the same things. We have the same interests. So that's definitely one thing we've been able to capitalize upon. Uh, one thing I want to take away from training would definitely be uh, trusting in your lower level leadership. Uh, Trusting in your your small your junior NCOs or your your sergeants or staff sergeants their their corresponding ranks, um, trying to empower them to make decisions on the battlefield at a uh, at a much earlier age than what they're currently doing now.